So recently I got a comment on how to get good signals on your HackRF1 port pack and what type of antenna should be used. So I thought I should make a video uh, on how to first tune in your uh, HackRF1 port pack to receive good signal using uh, this uh, uh, normal antenna. So let me just tell you first what are the steps to tune, uh, tune in your uh, HackRF1 port pack uh, to receive good signals. So let me just turn on my uh, port pack. And uh, then in receive mode over here you can see different uh, things, right? So whatever thing you want to receive, uh, let's just say if you want to receive ADBS or uh, anything like this. So let me just go in ADB, ADSB, sorry. And then there is a hidden menu. A uh, lot of people don't know about this menu. So this menu is over. Uh, this menu will come when you will press this button, uh, the reset button. So let me press it one time. So this is the first menu which shows you the performance, right? You can see the performance and this menu blinks. Uh, this is the drawback of this menu, but uh, this is how it is. And then you have, you have to press it one more time to get another menu. Now then there is a radio setting menu and over here uh, there is RX saturation if you can see it clearly i suppose let me just see this is rx saturation so what you have to do is you have to increase the saturation to around uh, 75 uh, to 85 in between so this menu blinks and this saturation will also blink let me show you one more time uh so let me increase so over here you can see then uh, the saturation is increasing right so it should be around uh, uh, 75 to 85 right so it's now 25 20 27 let's just increase the amplification as well and now let's just see So it's 62, and let me just decrease. Yeah. So now you can see the saturation is around 75 to 85, in between 75 to 85. You will not get exact saturation because of the wavelengths. So see, and the saturation will always vary so it should be around 75 to 85 so this is uh, the hidden menu radio settings and this menu will come in all all the receiving things right so you can use this menu uh, to change the saturation value and then you can receive good signal don't make it uh, to 100 percent and don't make it less than uh, 60 or 70 percent uh, if you make it 100 percent you will receive nothing there will be a lot of noise right and uh, if you uh, make it less than 60 percent uh, then you will uh, not see good signals right so make sure it's around 75 to 85 thank you